It is the fifth day of February 2018. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Ruth Inasaji, and these are the stories making the headlines across the country. And starting off the bullet in the story from Zombo District, the State Minister of, no of Northern Uganda, Grace Kiwichuni, has patterned with schools in the district to impact skills in girls on how to make their own sanitary pads. Kiwichuni asked that empowering girls to make their own pads will help them promote menstrual hygiene and curb female pupils' absenteeism in some schools and also to stop poor resource settings. Now, the training on how to make cheap, reusable sanitary pads for the girls using locally available materials started on Saturday with the girls and senior women teachers of both primary and secondary schools in the district. During the training, the minister also donated mattresses and scholastic materials to give to girls and boys who excelled in last year's primary leaving examinations and Uganda Certificate of Examinations results released or just recently. Crossing over to Kotido District, the Uganda People's Defense Forces has recovered 12 guns from Trukana pastorists along the Uganda Kenya border. Now the herders are searching for water and pasture in Uganda following a severe drought that has hit most parts of northwestern Kenya. Most of the guns were recovered during sport raids on 16 Trukana kraals that are well spread along the border of Kenya inside Uganda. Sources said several suspects were arrested. However, the army would not divulge details saying that, could, that it could jeopardize investigations. The UPDF 3rd Division spokesman, Captain Isaac Ware, confirmed the recovery of the guns. You're still watching New Vision TV News. I am Ruth Inasaj. Let me remind you, the Harvest Money Expo is on. It is going to start on the 15th and end on 17th February at Nambole Stadium. All you have to do is to come with 10,000 shillings. And if you want to attend any training session, it will be 10,000 shillings. This year's theme is farming as a business. Now let us get into what is making the headlines into this copy of the new vision. If you can't access the hard copy of the new vision, the link is on your screen. Subscribe for e-paper. And if you have a smartphone, download the Vision Group e-paper app and you can access all the products published by Vision Group. This is the news around Uganda. I am Rothina Sajis as continue looking at more stories making the headlines across the country. Now from Barara, women from Barara under the various groups have commended the government's initiative of Uganda Women Entrepreneurship Program, UEP, that has provided them with capital to boost their enterprises. UEP is a women initiative under the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development that has approved the was approved by cabinet in 2016 as a landmark in the, imp in the implementation of government transformation agenda aiming at improving women's access to financial services and equipping women with skills for enterprise growth now value addition and marketing of products and services abigail Mwesigwa, the chairperson rentable fruit dry dryers appreciated the efforts being put by the government to empower women financially however she noted that more funding should be extended to help them expand their projects she revealed that they had applied for 25 million shillings but they got just 12 million shillings which supported them through, though not enough she called upon the government to revise the guidelines and increase on the funding let's close the bulletin from mitiana district the bishop of mitiana diocese dr samuel stephen kazimba has told christians to stop following up their donations to the church saying when given to the church they no longer belong to the donor. Kazimba said sometimes Christians donate items to the church or religious leaders and then keep following them up to see how they are being used. He said if you give a vehicle to the church, 
it is no longer yours. It belongs to the church and it is the bishop who is in charge of it. If the priest drives it, you shouldn't be concerned about where he is going and where he is and what he is carrying. Now, that those are the words of Bishop Kazimba. He's, he was on Sunday speaking at a function to commission St. Stephen's Sevanda Church constructed by Christians in the area. The multi-billion year church was constructed at Sevanda Village. Kekandoa sub-county in Mitiana district. It was constructed on land donated by Livingstone Semwanga and his family. Semwanga also contributed a big amount of money towards the construction works and later Semwanga handed over two land titles to the bishop. That's all we had for you, but I have to remind you the Harvest Money Expo is on this year. It is starting on the 15th of this month and ending on the 17th of this month so there are three days full and packed with what we need to know from the agricultural industry those who love to attend it is just ten thousand shillings and training sessions will be ten thousand shillings it will be at nambola stadium under the theme farming as a business now thank you for watching make sure you catch more news updates and other programs here on new vision tv by visiting our website which is www.newvision.co.ug forward slash video catch us on social media facebook is the new vision today is <laughs> at new vision why instagram is at new vision why and our youtube channel is a new vision tv catch up with me on my twitter handle i am Ruth the voice